Hello guys, this is AAP here, you're watching, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to remove your background from a picture using Adobe Photoshop. In my case, I'm using CS5, but I guess in your case, you might be using CS3 or CS4, that's the most common right now. Um, and also CS6 is already, I think, out or coming out soon, I'm not sure but I have no interest in that but anyways it's a straight forward concept a really clear concept uh, what I'm about to show you so my picture is right here so so you know find your picture and in this case I have it on my background so it's easy for me to find and um, as you can see right here is my uh, right here so as you can see how I remove the background uh, pretty much almost I'm done well I'm almost done at least <laughs> So as you can see, nothing happened to the image, uh, the picture itself, but the background did get completely removed. Well, I'm, I didn't completely remove it yet, but I'm gonna start from the beginnings just to show you guys. So close that out. I don't want to save it. So let's open up Adobe Photoshop, file, open, look for your picture. In this case, it's on my desktop. So I did get this off of Google Images, so here it is, the sexy looking Gohan. I mean this is like the only version I like of him. After that, even in when he grows up he looks very stupid when he turns Super Saiyan. I don't know why they I like I like this hair, but when he turns old, damn his hair sucks. And he looks way better like this. Smaller is way better. Okay, anyway, um this, um, sorry, this is the magic, uh, okay, so you want to select the magic wand tool, so from your top to the second row, it's on the right, you want to select the magic wand tool, for those of you whose uh, format is like this, then you want to, it's on your uh, fourth, it's, the, it's on the, uh, it's the fourth from the top, and you can just select it, magic wand tool. And uh, I like using this format, but anyways, it's up to you. It doesn't matter. Not like I care at all. Um, so pretty much all you do is you select the magic wand tool. Um, then you want to do is you see the background. You want to just click on it. Just click on it once. Let go. And there you go. Magic. <laughs> so as you can see, when it's a straightforward picture with a simple back background and a very, you know, cont it contrasts a lot to the picture itself then it's very easy to remove as you can see I selected everything every detail so I mean that's amazing and then after this it's actually pretty simple the next step it's, it's like having fun with the picture <laughs> it's like ruining your picture except not really ruining it may just removing the background er using the eraser tool so you want to click on the eraser it's on the um, let's see fifth row on your left and click on click and hold and then select background eraser tool select that and then remove your background so just you know remove it I'm clicking one by one and um, you don't have to be worried about removing your picture it's because it's already inversed so it won't even touch your image it will only remove the background And I'm a little um, sick today, so I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little hoarse. So, um, and uh, you know, looks good so far. Nothing bad actually happened. Uh, like I, I really trust this tool. It's very, you know, very, very helpful in a way when you think about it. So, and uh, I, I mean, the picture looks good itself, doesn't it? I mean, it looks amazing. So, I mean, uh, people on YouTube they really confuse you. They make, first of all, they make the video so long; it's about fifteen minutes. First of all, they talk like for. I don't know, like half the time in, in before they even start using this tool. I mean, I got straight forward to the point, uh, a small introduction, and then straight forward to the video. I mean, I went straight on it. I don't know why people, you know, like, come on. So, 
they used some next level complicated tools on this. Uh, I mean, and then I don't know. It's just so stupid. And there you go. I mean, that's I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I am done making Gohan without its background. And then you can just go to File and um, save it. And uh, I'm just gonna re replace it actually. Or actually, I guess I'll just save it on my desktop um, and turn it into a JPEG. And as you can see, Adobe already exists and all of that, because I already have it on my desktop. Except it's not the one with the well, without the background; it's the one with the background. But I'm gonna replace it anyway because I don't need it one. And then just click OK here. And um, after that, you can get rid of this. I don't want to save it because I already saved it on my desktop. <coughs> I'm gonna go to file. I'm gonna just open it just to show you guys that there is no background anymore on it. And uh, there it is. I think that's it. I'm not really sure. Oh, wait a minute. I think I turned into a. Yeah, not supposed to be a JPEG, it's supposed to be PNG. I think I was supposed to leave it out like that. PNG. Um. <clears throat> it's still gonna be useful. Um, all right. Uh, sorry. Uh, go to. I'm gonna open it. Try and open it again. And uh, it should be somewhere here. And there it is. Um, so I turn it into PNG, and it should open. And there you go. As you can see, it has no background. It's good to go. I mean, you can change the background to anything you want. I'm not even lying. Like. After this, I mean, you pretty much have control over the entire picture. Like, you have control over Gohan itself. Like, you can maybe, um, like, do that. See, you can, like, make a poster, a collage of, you know, all the Dragon Ball Z characters. Like, and just remove their backgrounds, and yeah, you can do that. And I think when you hit Control T, you can even shrink the size. Yeah. So as you can see, you can shrink the size. So you get this Control T, and you get all the like, angles and stuff, and then you can just shrink the size of it. So Shift just to remain the pixels at the same size, and you know remove the size. And uh, as you can see, it's kind of very ugly right now. But when you hit, uh, when you click this check mark, the pixel pixels reevaluate themselves, and as you can see, it's same thing, except it's smaller. And uh, you can even make it bigger. Control T and Shift, and just click on this, and just make it big as you want. Doesn't really matter to me. Um, maybe that big. And you can just click OK, and there you go. I mean, it looks good, right? Um, and then you can make a, a maybe in this is this part of the video you don't have to watch because you removed your background. I'm just making this just to make it an extra. So, um, but for those of you who are leaving, please like and subscribe. So you can um, make a new layer. Uh, <clears throat> actually, I'm gonna make a new file, new like a new document, just the whole new thing. And uh, what I'm gonna do. Just wait. So there's this whole new thing right here. I'm gonna make the background different. So it's like the paint bucket tool, and uh, I don't know. Select the white. Select this gradient. Um, actually no. I'm gonna select the red one. Like very dark, dark. I don't know. Red eye. I, I, yeah, I like that maybe. Just spill the bucket on it, and it should turn red. And uh, let's see. Yeah, it's completely red. And then you select the mouse tool right here, and then go back to the image, and click on the image tab and drag it out, and then just pretty much move it to the side, and then drag the image itself onto this. This target, la 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 blah 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 blah. Doesn't matter. Click yes. And as you can see, Gohan's right there. 
Um, and you can cancel this because you don't need it. No, I don't want to save it. And um, uh, Control T, hit Shift, and then you can just you know increase the size, as I have already told you before. Like just make it huge. You can even rotate it, you know. I'm actually I'm gonna rotate it that way. Yeah, like that. And just hit Okay, and it should reevaluate the pixels. Right now, as you can see it says transform right there. It, that means it's reevaluating the pixels and making them back to normal. And there you go. Your pixels are HD again. So and then pretty much uh you know that's all you do. <laughs> like like it's amazing, isn't it? You can do so much things with Adobe, you know, remove the you know stuff. Uh, so Apple and oh oh yeah. I mean it's really awesome when you think about it, it's just amazing. I'm gonna change the color to white actually in this case. <laughs> Okay, yes, 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 yes. Apple Pro, please, please, please subscribe. And thank you if you appreciate me putting this video up. I love you guys. Peace out.